Ho ho, happy Friday, and welcome to the video. This is Ryan Nostek from techinform.us, and as requested several weeks ago when I purchased the software, we're going to be taking a look at uh, today Word of the Microsoft Office 2011 for Mac uh, software. Now this is pretty much like Office 2010 for PC. This is 2011 for Mac. It brings a lot of the same features, user interface. Really nice software from Apple.com. It is um, relatively affordable. However, when you compare it to iWork, I think that iWork is a better deal. As I just searched for Microsoft deal, and I spelled Microsoft wrong. Let's try this again. Do Microsoft Office, and it finds iWork. So as you can see, Microsoft is pushing the iWork software. But if we come over here, I did get the Mac Home and Business one here. It's going to come with Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and uh, Outlook. It's 200 bucks for one license. You can get three licenses for, actually that part of their site is not loading, but it jumps from 199 to 279 Okay, looks like that's two licenses. So, is it worth it? Yes and no. I think iWork is about 80% as powerful and as productive and as compatible. Or actually, it's 100% as compatible, but um, both are very nice pieces of software. So we'll just go ahead and launch Word down here. This is not cached. I have not opened it. So this is what a, a uh, opening time is going to look like. Not too bad. And this looks definitely familiar to iWork, uh, the Pages applications opening page, except a little bit slower, I might add. And here you have all of your templates that you can choose from. 99.59% of the time you're going to be choosing this, the Word document. Really basic. You can do calendars. I mean, if I went through this, we'd be here for four hours. Spin CD cover, picture badge, gift certificate. I mean, there's tons of different uh, templates here. Of course, you can just uh, sort them out by newsletters, signs, posters, programs, and so forth. But we'll just come back up here to all and do a new Word document. Choose. And here it is. Go ahead and make that full screen for you. By the way, I'm not recording the video for one of for two of two reasons. One, it makes the file larger, takes longer to export, takes longer to upload, and I'm limited on time this evening. And two, uh, I would like to have this in full screen so you guys can see the full thing, and I don't have to keep moving the video around. Here it is, pretty basic yet very advanced. Um, they've really, they've done a super nice job of, of organizing this. When I first got my Mac back in January of 10, uh, I downloaded the 08, the trial, and I messed with that, and I really didn't actually like it. So this is much nicer. This is much closer to Office 11 for PC, or Office 10 for PC. Here's your basic stuff up here. This is all font. I believe this is movable. Just uh, your font name, bold, italic, underline, crossed out up and down, there's words for that, and center and alignment. All your basic stuff is here. Then you can choose between styles and kind of headers here and go back and forth. Usually, I don't do that. I mean, this is just like uh, pre-made headers, subtitle, title, heading one, heading two, no spacing. I would just do it manually, but that's there if you do it more often, I suppose. You've got a ruler on the top and a ruler on the bottom. Now, up in the top part of the window here, you have buttons that are here the whole time. These don't change as you flip through these tabs. By the way, really fast, really nice organization. Um, this one here looks like it is going to open a new document. The next one is going to do a uh, new from a template. Open a document, save this document, print, cut, copy, paste. This one says copy formatting from one location and apply it to another. So this is definitely a little bit more advanced than I work. There it's going to show non-printing characters. That's nice if you're, you know, really revising something and revising and so forth and so forth. Show and hide this side over here, and this is going to give you a really nice view of uh, different pages and documents that you might have. You can also arrange these depending on um, how many pages and different documents you have open, which is nice. But we'll get rid of that because we don't need it. And also up here you have show or hide. Uh, we just looked at that. Um, and there's the media browser, which I know I looked at in uh, iWork, so we will look at it here. And I might add it's actually a little bit slow, or but maybe that's just the computer. So pretty much just as easy. You drag it in like that and I'm trying to figure out how I move it around. Maybe that has to be closed. Okay, so it's not going to let me move it around like I work. I guess I'm going to have to come over and, oh yeah, that's a little primitive. But I can select it and uh, shrink it and then move it on a Z scale too. So I guess that is neat and delete it with the backspace key. So those are those buttons up here. Now we'll go ahead and look at uh, the other things in the lay in the tabs here. So you've got home. We already looked at that layout. This is nice. It's going to give you your orientation, your size, break, margins, columns. 
stuff that we don't use very often, but when we do need it, it is here, and it's really easy to get to. I know in Word 2003 and 2008 for Mac, and it's definitely harder to get to. Then you've got some document elements here. You can do headings, footers, or headers, footers, page numbers, footnote, endnote, all of the stuff that you really only have to do for school. Tables, really easy way of creating tables. Uh, if we come over here, do a new table, and then we just do this, a 10 by 8. And there it is. Type in our values. Real easy to move around like that. Really nice implementation of the, of the tables here with Office. Lots of options for the tables as well. Select your uh, borders, sizes, styles, shadowing. Lots of nice effects I might add here as well. Charts, easy to add a chat. Chart, bar, area, scatter, other, line, column, pie, graph. It's all there. Smart view. This is going to be more stuff that you rarely use. You can make a list, you can make a process, cycle, hierarchy, relationship, picture, other, and this is all just unbelievably easy. I mean, pick one that you want and uh, you fill it in from here. I mean, this looks like I could make teacher worksheets from here, which of course would be miserable from my perspective, but for anybody else, this would be really, really simple. And then once you do that, you've got a formatting option here for some effects. You can do a reflection effect, somewhat like in Photoshop, and there notice it just flips the text and puts a gradient on it. That's a nice easy way to do that. Adjust your transparency. More effects will do a shadow on it. Nice and easy again. And then review. So you can go through and review your document. You can track your changes here. New comments. You can actually put comments. Like an HTML code. You can put it in. It won't show when you print. But for somebody else viewing and editing the document, if you're putting it on Google Docs or something like that, how unbelievably easy is that? And then, of course, saving. Probably one of the biggest things I get asked is, uh, yes, it's going to be a .docx, which Pages does know how to use. It can't create, I don't think, but it can uh, read and edit, so that's good. If you are going back and forth between the Mac, I might recommend a DOC, which is right there. Just for more compatibility, if you're taking it to school and work, a DOC is very compatible with things. So that's always a good idea. But anyways, thoughts on Office, at least Word for Mac 2011? Fast, but not as fast as Pages. Much more advanced than Pages. And I might say it's a little bit easier to use than Pages. Will I be switching to it? No. I do not need 80% of the features in here. So uh, it's, it's easier for me just to use Apple Suite. I own both. I paid for both. So yes, I will use this on occasion. But great software. I can recommend it so far. Uh, we'll see what goes on with the rest of the suite next week. Today is Friday, which means I have to tell you to have a fantastic weekend. And I mean it. I've got... Uh, I don't know. Check out my vlog. See what's going on. Channel's down below at youtube.com slash jrsvlog. More places you can find me. I uh, actually wanted to mention this. I've got a Twitter account that's probably created by someone watching this video right now, which I think is funny. It's twitter.com slash theryanschultz. I'm not going to put the link down there, but you can go ahead and look at it. It looks pretty funny so far. It's, a, it's a, obviously and clearly stated in the profile, a parody account, so... Some funny stuff on there right now. It's twitter.com slash theryanschultz. Again, our site is techinform.us. My Twitter, my real Twitter, is twitter.com slash jamesrschultz. The business account is twitter.com slash techinformus. And then you can catch me live and, well, techinform live every Tuesday night between 8 and 9 p.m. T Eastern Time on ustream.tv slash user slash techinformus. Again, have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you guys next week with the review of Excel and then Tuesday with PowerPoint. Thanks, guys. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.